Yo, what's good basketball heads? It's your boy Crush. I know we've been over this a million times. The same tired debate. Michael Jordan versus LeBron James. But NBA fans, most NBA fans, still thinks Michael Jordan is the GOAT. I mean, what's to argue against? I'm about to run down the stats right now. Jordan has six rings. LeBron has four. Jordan has six finals MVP to LeBron's four. Jordan has five regular season MVP to LeBron's four. Jordan has zero meltdown in the finals. LeBron has two. Jordan has two finals game winner. LeBron zero. Jordan three-peated twice. LeBron zero. Jordan has never been swept. LeBron twice. Jordan has 38 games of 40 or more points. LeBron 28. Jordan has 8 playoff games of 50 points or more. LeBron won. Jordan has 1 playoff game of 60 plus. LeBron 0. That alone shows you Jordan is superior. And then you got to add in the other intangibles like MJ played in a harder era where they really played defense. Football defense, you know, clothesline. They was beating the hell out of this man. And he still got 6 in that era. LeBron plays in the watered-down, soft era. You can't touch. You can't hand-check. LeBron is always self-proclaiming he's the GOAT or why he's not everybody's number one or pick. And on the contrary, MJ doesn't say anything. He doesn't proclaim he's the GOAT. He doesn't gloat. As great as he is, he just let it be. And we all know what's up. If you know basketball... You're not some 2K baby. You know what's up. So most of the fans still think Michael Jordan is the GOAT. He's the king, which he is. And anyone else who feels otherwise, you're delusional. I'm sorry. When you compare the accolade, the stats, and I didn't even throw in the scoring titles, the steals, the defense, I mean, come on now. I didn't even throw in all his accolades. I just gave you a quick rundown. It's not even close, man. So LeBron is a strong second on some people's list. On my list, he's four or five. LeBron is in the fourth or the fifth slot in, on my list. But on a lot of people's list, he's number two, which, you know, it's arguably. You could have Kareem at number two. On my list, Kobe's number two. Kareem is number three. LeBron is number four or five. I'll give him four. I'll give LeBron number four on my list. But this age-old debate of who's the greatest, a lot of LeBron's contemporaries and players he played with, they always choose him because obviously they played against each other. You know, they're from the same era. You know, and dudes will use stuff like, look how long he's been playing. You know, they use, they'll they use longevity. You know, he got the scoring record and all that, and that's cool, but Jordan is in a class by himself. It's, it's not even close. Most NBA fans still think, to this day, Michael Jordan is the GOAT, which he is. I mean, look at the numbers. Look at the accolades. Look at the stats. We could do it whichever way you want. Jordan will come out on top because he's a superior player. I know it's hard to swallow for most of the 2K babies. They can't, you know... They drive them nuts. They just can't fathom why would Michael Jordan be better than LeBron. Because he is. It is what it is. But, you know, on the flip side of things, you know, we got to give LeBron some love. You know, he's heading into his 21st season, still balling, doing his thing, you know. So I got to still take my hat off to him. You know, the man is doing great things. He's in the top five, no argument. On my list, he's just a strong number four, which is still great. He's in my top five. But number one will always be MJ. He just did more in less time, and he was a superior player. But as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game. I'ma say it. It's all about the game.